Fire and Shalom. Give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great male strong. Shalom to the hopefully elect, and Shalom to all the Akim pushing his truth for sincerity. Alright, now um, I just wanted to do something quick through the spirit on the plantation, so, you know, um, kind of short of time, but, you know, to, you know, to give you a backside of the story, I don't know why, man, but at work, somebody always trying to bring up the Bible to me, but what they fail to realize is that, you know, I'm in the scriptures very, you know, very heavily, okay, and I've been taught by the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, who, through the spirit, I believe, okay, they have the 100% truth, okay, coming straight, directly from me, how was I, okay, now, I guess he's a Jehovah Witness or whatever, and, you know, I sliced him up with the scriptures a few times, you know, <laughs> but, you know, he just can't get over the fact that, you know, he cut, you know, so he, you know, he tried to explain things how he wants them to be explained, but, you know, he, he, he doesn't, Explain them with scriptures, man. Okay, and that's why the scriptures say be apt, be apt to teach. Okay, because you'll come into cases where, you know, you got to know what you're talking about, man. You know, and that's why beginning with Apostle Sahar, um, on down, you know, just the body of Great Millstone and itself, man. We, we heavy in the studying. We heavy into being diligent. Okay, and, and, and knowing these scriptures wouldn't say eat the whole roll. Okay, now I'm a younger brother, you know, I'll be the first to admit I got a lot to learn, a lot to learn. Okay, but as far as, you know, the milk, some of the meat, you know, thanks, thanks to the apostles on down, okay, and the brothers over me, you know, I've, you know, and then first and foremost, Shahabash Mount Shai, I've been able to accumulate, you know, a lot of knowledge. Um, you know, on the scriptures. So, you know, he, he, he tried to, you know, come against it, whatever. And, you know, he made a few points about Israel that, oh, they're done away with. Um, the Lord isn't dealing with them, basically. You know, just, just wrapping it up in a few words. And, you know, I just cut it all the way. I just cut it all the way. The Lord is still dealing with um, Israel. You read up Romans 11, chapter, read Luke one sixty eight. okay? Um, and, and plenty of other scriptures. When you go into the kingdom, you know, like he tried to make the statement. I said, so what's the one forty four? Okay, he said, oh, that's that's that that's symbolic. The 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 the, the kingdom in Revelation twenty one is symbolic, which we know exactly what it is. There's going to be twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, and the one forty four is going to come out of it. All right, the the kingdom will have twelve gates. Okay, with the children of the um the the children of Israel's name written on it, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so you know, like I said, man, these these other um denominations or you know subgroups that you know derive from the from the scriptures, man, is just completely fucking false, man. Okay, here it is, and I just told him plainly, I said, man, you don't even know that you're Israelite, man. You know, and you know, see when it first came about. I was going to, you know, keep my mouth shut, but just how I said in Jeremiah, you know, saying so he had that fire in him, you know, it just came out, man, because, you know, he was just spewing all types of madness. So, you know, we, we got to defend the gospel, man, when it's necessary, you know. Um, And, you know, like I said, I already cut him up, man, you know, because like I said, I cut him up to the point where he just keep bringing it up. Like, he's been here for a few days, and he just continued to bring it up. And I'm just, and, then, and what I do, I just go get more scriptures. I don't even say nothing. I just keep my head down, act like I'm listening, let him babble, you know. Which, you know, I will give him this. He do seem sincere, you know, about what he believes in. But at the end of the day, man, you know, this is only only the elect going to get this, this true knowledge, man, you know. And that's why we got to be grateful and thankful. And like I always say, man, we got to thank you, how about you, man? I'm sorry, day in and day out, man, that, you know, he has given us this 100% truth, this real knowledge of the scriptures, because this dude still think he, he's black. He clean shaven. And then, like I said, man, he was just spewing all types of madness, and I'm just 
bringing out scriptures, proving everything that I'm saying. That's one thing about us, okay, especially to you Christians, you Jehovah Witnesses, um, you know, and whoever else believes in the scriptures in whatever way they try to interpret it. Nobody can deal with it in the scriptures, man, okay? And I'm speaking as, as you know, for Hebrew Israelites as a whole. When it comes to, to Israel, okay, and, you know, a lot of the topics that deal with the, the nation, y'all can't y'all can't deal with us in the scriptures, man, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, okay? Now, you know, you got to go a step up from that, you know, Great Millstone, we have into prophecy and just, you know, like I said, man, under the banner of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and the Apostle on down, I do believe that the elders and apostles do got the 100% truth, and I'm learning the correct doctrine, okay? But like I said, man, you know, and I, I was trying to, you know, explain to him, he an Israelite, and, you know, I, and I didn't even go into Deuteronomy 28th chapter. He's like, oh, no, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not no Israelite, and I'm, 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 I'm a, the, the, the large multitude, I'm, I'm, I'm a no, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case. But, you know, he, you know, he, like I said, he got a zeal, but no knowledge. And I'm going to get that scripture too. Okay, because you will come across sincere people in these other, you know what I'm saying? Um, these other subgroups that stem from the Bible, but they have no knowledge, man. Like I said, he still eats pork. I got him on, got on him about that, proved that. Okay, I got all, he tried to say Israel was done away with, just like the scriptures say. Um, I will raise up a horn of salvation, okay, for the nation of Israel. I will give repentance unto Israel, so on and so forth. They have, have the Lord cast away his people, Romans 11. God forbid, who's the king of four? Who the 144 come out of? And like I said, various scriptures, man, show you, um, you know, of course, Matthew 15, 24, Matthew 2 and 6, okay, y'all know them. Okay, some of you, you know, y'all know him though, man. You know, just cutting him up, man. He still couldn't receive it. He still couldn't get it. He was just still trying to beat around the bush about it. And I was just shutting him up, shutting him all the way up, you know, through the spirit of Hawaii Habash Shai. Okay, so I'm to Wadi Habash Shai, you know, give me the knowledge to be able to, you know, defend the gospel. But I wanted to grab this in Jeremiah um, 17 and 4. It says, And thou even thyself, so I you. from thine heritage. And that's exactly what happened here. This dude think he black. He think he a black black man, whatever. All right. Just don't know nothing, man. You know, don't I mean just don't know a damn thing, man. Okay, and that's exactly why two thirds has gotta go. Like I said, he's 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 even gonna be sincere. Um two-thirds who really believe in what they believe in, but they just all the way off, man. They got to be cleansed and purged from that, man. Okay? All the way they just need to be completely wiped out. Okay? Completely brought low. Okay? And and, and and completely rebuilt back up, man. You know, and luckily, you know, Lord willing, if we have that number, man, we starting our rebuilding process now. We coming back to our heritage, man. Okay? Those dry bones being risen up. We coming back to the knowledge, the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem and Hosha. You know, it says, "And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, which is here in America." Okay, you know, um, prior to the um, translated, well, you know, King Solomon knew this of this land, but you know, just as a whole, you know. You know, we, we were on the east. We weren't over here, man. You know, the the, the, um, the northern tribes had um, came over this way, okay? But this was a land that was real foreign to us, man, you know, at a point of time. It says, In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever, man, for a long period of time. Which, you know, we still in captivity, man. You know, it's, it's just feel like we... It, been forever, you know, countless generations, man, you know, going through, you know, all types of torture and torment, which, you know, we ultimately deserve as a nation, okay, because we stand against, we sinned against our power, our God, okay, 
and I'm going to get this classic scripture, of course. Got to grab this because, you know, our people are just completely gone. Hosea 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And I was some else I was get, getting into it with, you know, like I said, he clean shaved and then all that look like Steve Harvey type <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, well, so I'm asking him, so I cut him up about that because people try to put their own spin on what sin is. Okay, and we understand that sin is a transgression of the law. Okay? But you know how Christians and, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses label it, oh, sin is anything that that is bad. And that, so what would make things bad? How would you know what's good and what's bad? How would you be able to, to decipher that? By the law. Okay? By the law. It, it's very simple, man. It's truth when you get it. You know, it's very simple. I mean, the milk is, is very simple, man. Okay, now, you know, it gets tougher when you get down to the meat, but, you know, that's just is what it is. Meat is tougher to chew. Milk just, you know what I'm saying, just glides right down down your throat. You know what I'm saying? It, it's easier to consume. All right? It's liquid. It's easier to consume. Okay? It's faster um, to digest. All right? But, I mean, it's very simple, man, when you put the pieces together and then you, you take prophecy and, 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 and um, you know, mix it with current events and what's going on in the world and the chain of history. I mean, it's very clear and simple on who the Israelites are, okay? It's very simple, man, okay? But our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. And the Lord has rejected them to receive that knowledge, to open their eyes. That's why the scriptures say, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. What did, what did it say? Um, how shall I say? My sheep hear my voice. Okay? A lot of these people, especially two-thirds, they hear, they hear the Lord's voice, man. You know, a lot of them pick up the Bible and don't have a clue of what's really going on in the scriptures, man. You know? And see, that's why, you know, we got to first and foremost thank how about you know, shot, but we got to be grateful and thankful that he set, um, elders, apostles and elders above us, man, to help us receive that knowledge, man, okay, and have been, you know, um, how can I word this, um, patient with us and teaching us, not straying away, not, you know what I'm saying, um, taking a hand off the plow, saying, you know what I'm saying, continuing, because, you know, me personally, for a younger brother like myself, I look forward to seeing the apostles, what they got to say, the knowledge they have to accumulate it. Okay, not only through the scriptures, but just in life in general, how to handle things, how to deal with people on the streets, how to, you know, be able to, you know, combat in the scriptures, man, like a warrior, like a soldier, man, spiritually, you know. All right, I'm going to grab one more scripture, I'm going to go, you know, like I said, on the plantation, um, which is Romans 10 and 2, I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Like I said, this man very zealous, you know, in the spirit. I can see that. He, he really believes in what he's saying, you know, but he has no knowledge, man. No knowledge, man. Okay? And, and he took the, 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 the you-know-what, the yab. And I was trying to explain to him what the MOTV was. And he tried to, he trying to see it, but he just don't think, he think, he just don't think that, Satan, okay, is working through Esau, you know, he just doesn't think Satan is working through Esau, you know, he's like, oh, well, that would make God a racist, and this, this, and that, well, the Lord established who he was dealing with in, in, in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, even, even when you go back to Abraham, he was only dealing with Abraham, then what, it went to Isaac, then what, it went to Jacob, from Jacob to the nation of Israel, completely. So, I mean, that just goes to show you that the Lord not dealing with everybody. If that was the case, he would have opened up, you know what I'm saying, his word to, to the Egyptians, the Hamites, all right, etc. man. Back when he was on um, in, um, in that um, ancient Egyptian captivity, man. Why would he do that? Why? Because he's always been dealing with the nation of Israel. He still is. Yes, he, um, he, um, 
he turned his, his face against us for a while, but that was for our punishment, man. Okay? And what happened? What did he do? He tell you how it shot. Okay? But prophecy still had to be fulfilled. Okay? Just like we read in Jeremiah, we had to go into captivity um, in a land far away that we ain't know we had to discontinue from our heritage. And when did we discontinue completely from our heritage? When we came over here under Esau, okay, and was, you know what I'm saying, in, in slavery, man. When we came over here, that's when we completely discontinued. Why? Because in Rome, we had our heritage, okay? And all these other captivities besides the one here in America, we all we always knew we were Israelites. You know, we always knew we were Israelites. Okay, except when we came here, man, when when, when Esau got his hand on us, okay, over here in the Western Hemisphere. That's when we discontinued, man. So prophecy still had to be fulfilled. That's why when the apostles asked Yahweh Shai, will you now restore the kingdom of Israel? You know, he did it. Why? Because it wasn't time, man. Prophecy still had to be fulfilled. Yahweh Bahashim and Shai is bound by his word, you know. But, you know, he understood that we would, and see, that's so beautiful. And that's, that's what makes things go so full circle because, here it is, we discontinued from our heritage over here, but we had Yahweh Shai who already had died on the cross for our sins, okay? So he knew we weren't going to be able to sacrifice. He knew we weren't going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, as far as females and having wives, be able to keep the law of purification and all that. He knew all those things were going to come to pass. So he had Yahweh Shai come prior, okay, or come before, you know, we would we would um fully discontinue from our heritage so that we would have that blood to cover us in areas where we would need to be covered because he knew we would discontinue. He knew we wouldn't be able to do or or keep certain laws, man, to, to you know what I'm saying, um the full capacity. You know? So that's a beautiful thing, man. How, you know, everything just goes full circle, man. You know? But hey man, I'm gonna call it that, man. A little willingness is edifying. To whoever may receive it, okay, gonna give all glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem and Hashai, by Hashem and Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom and Ababa Ball.